Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. So today we will be discussing a short video about dashboard widget changes and where those instances are saved in Pega. Let's get started into the topic. So we know that once we launch a dashboard, we can add as many as widgets as possible. So this is the settings icon where you can personalize your dashboard and you can do whatever templates you want. So example, this particular dashboard is configured with uh, two column template and we have two widgets per each slot. You can see cases entered by me, case status, report widget and teams. These are the different widgets that are there. If you scroll down, yes. So totally four widgets are there in these two slots. Suppose there is a class which holds the information where if user changes some dashboard things and all, uh, it records it. So in future, if you want uh, to revert the changes back, you can just delete a instance from this respective class. So this is system user dashboard. See, now it doesn't have any instances. Now I am trying to add a widget over here in slot one. For example, connected apps. And I click add connected. Now I'm publishing this and I'm refreshing the dashboard. So if I scroll down, you can see connected apps. This is added. Previously, this particular widget is not there. And go to the dev studio and refresh it. See, this is the operator name. My this is my operator. So we can see one instance over here. And you just go here. Go for actions, view XML. So this is the PXINS name and this is the PZINS key of this. And here you can see the dashboard template is two column template. PY user dashboard two column because we are having a two column template. And if you scroll down a bit, we have added connected apps, right? See, PZ connected apps wrapper. This is one of the widget uh, we have added into our respect to slot one. That's why under slot one, this is there, and this is slot two, where you can't see this because on slot one, we have added that. Now I'm closing this. Refresh. Go to the dashboard. Now, if you want to do like revert the change, uh, if you go for settings, you can just click delete and uh, the changes will be reverted so as i'm having an admin access i can do this suppose if there are some users like uh, who, are, who is not of most technical but uh, through app studio if they do any app or dashboard changes and they want it to be reverted back so you can't see the like if you go to live UI and do some settings and all you can't identify this just if you go to this uh, respective dev studio and if you click on this instance tag to the respective user click delete so now it is deleted refresh no items are there now you see the magic refresh this still it is there relaunch the portal dashboard see you can't see connected apps so this is uh, one of the interview question that has been asked like where the respective dashboard changes can be viewed and uh, how to revert the dashboard widget edition that are done by user through app studio or two three settings hope you have learned a new concept Stay tuned for more content. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this content. Please subscribe to my channel. Click on bell notification so you won't be missing any latest video from this YouTube channel.